What is up everyone? Welcome back for more Exos Heroes content. In today's video, we're going to discuss FC Deva gameplay and guide, stats, her strengths and her weaknesses, her skills, her playability in PvP and PvE, Guardian Stone recommendations, synergy with other heroes. But before that, if you want to see more Exos Heroes content, please be sure to hit the subscribe button on the right side of your screen. Let us take a look at FC Deva. So her strengths are she has high attack, high dodge, and high attack speed. Her weaknesses are she has low HP, low defense, and low block. She is kind of built like a glass cannon with a high damage and very low survivability. And we take a look at her skills. So her skills are her first one is her basic attack with which deals 590 to 694 damage her passive is the, your drug or hunter blessing with final hit but the most important in the stat is your increase on critical damage by double through crimson strike so this is why you need to have the FC version of Deva for her to really shine her S1 is deal 76% damage to all enemies and the third resets if the target dies. This is very important because this clears a lot of a lot of uh, enemies in the field, especially if, if they already have low health. For her S2, so it's sticky time bomb, so it deals 700% damage to one enemy, afflicts target with silence for five turns. After five turns, afflicts target with sticky time bomb that inflicts damage equal to 130. 163% of current health so again her kit is built to deal a lot of damage so aside from dealing double damage she deals a ton of damage and she has a second damage after five turns and she also provides silence the only difference with her original original form is that her passive doesn't have any crimson strike her S1 only attacks the back row of the formation and her S2 has lesser damage, no silence and no extra damage. So Deva, if you can take note, she is a machine character and she has she hails from the nation of Saint West and she uh, she is attack type and also magical. At first I thought she was physical but um, she brings a lot of um, versatility as a magical attack type character. So again, she is viable for PvP but only for PvP tag because most of the meta in, in, in PvP evolves around, evolves around battery and your high damage dealers are mostly AoE. Also, in your PvE, she is very good in your chapters she is also very good in your upier's labyrinth and most especially she is excellent in your holy dragon grounds because of her dragon hunter blessing and crimson strike for her recommended guardian stones i would recommend darkness and fire for her equipment set effect for darkness you will get to have her heal either a plus 12% or plus 30 and for her awakened set effect she will be receiving plus 25 or plus 50 for her defense and for her hip she will be getting a plus 5.4 or plus 12 for her hit for her fire for equipment set effect she will be getting a total damage reduction for plus 5% plus 10% or plus 20% but for awakened set effect she will be getting plus 50 plus 750 HP plus 2250 or plus 5000 HP depending on how many how many sets of guardian stones have you equipped with her so for synergy with other heroes she works well with heroes that provide her mana so that she could reach and she could already cast or uh, do her S2 skill. 
She also has a high synergy with high damage AOE and, and high damage single hit targets. She also has very good synergy with heroes who give her a critical hit increase. Uh, example of this is Fernando. And last is she pairs well with heroes who give decreased defense to the enemy. So there are a lot of uh, examples for this one. You just have to try to check the list of heroes that you have available in your roster and um, try to pair these with Deva. So my last thoughts on Deva, she is a terrific character in terms of dealing damage, dealing tons of damage, and dealing double critical damage. The challenge with her is mainly on her survivability and on how long she can deal damage because she might be the target, firstly, of your enemies. So it's important to keep her alive. It's important also to have or to revive her if necessary but um, she is a very good character in terms of damage dealing versati versatility in clearing out mobs and uh, she really really deals a lot of damage and that concludes this video so let me know what you think in the comments below you all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video Golden out